Hi everybody, I am Mrs. Peacock McLaughlin. And I'm Mrs. Atrash. And we are here as teachers at the K-12 International Academy to take the YouTube Tin Can Challenge. You saw all of our cans at the beginning. I was watching YouTube recently and I saw that there were a lot of people taking this Tin Can Challenge and it kind of got me excited. I was like, this could be really something fun to do with other teachers. So I called Mrs. Atrash and said, Mrs. Oh. Atrash, will you do this? And she said, yes, but... I think that we should take it one step further and turn this tin can challenge into a virtual tin can food drive. Which I think is awesome and amazing. And I was like, yes, 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 let's do it. So what we're gonna do today, we are going to eat all of these tin cans, just a bite from each, to see what kind of flavors we can get out of these tin cans. Then we are gonna take this awesome haul that you're gonna see at the end of the video of um, more than 50 tin cans that we collected ourselves between our families and we're gonna donate it to our local food bank. You can go to either the United Nations World Food Program or you can go to Feeding America and participate by donating some cans. But we wanna keep a tally of how many K-12 international students donate cans and take the tin can challenge. So make sure you use the hashtag that's in the title in order to do that. It's hashtag, uh, hashtag International Academy Donates Tins. So without further ado, let's eat some tin cans. Okay. And I have a little bit of a challenge for her after we're done. Ooh. So let's see. Okay, you go first. Which one looks best? Or um, I, oh, I, I see a white one right here. So and by the way, my husband set this up. We oh ooh, we have no clue what this is. And take it out. It's a there's a white one and it I thought it was soup, but it's super soupy and my guess is it it coconut. Mmm, I love coconut milk. It is coconut milk. Yum! We feed this to my daughter uh, instead of cow's milk sometimes. Ooh, I like yes. to cook with it. I like to bake with it. Ooh. It is good. Okay, I see another similar <gasps> white soupy. White soupy something? I wonder if it's Ooh, it's got some stuff in it. What is this one, honey? What is it? It's cream chowder. <laughs> cold cream ch Even cold cream chowder is delicious. Yum. I don't know. There's some things that I can't take cold. I can. Okay, I can you pick the next one for me. I'm gonna turn around. How about? How about this one? <laughs> I'm gonna peek. I don't. I don't know what that this one, one is. Put it in my hands. Ooh, okay. Here. There you go. Uh, there we go. I don't know. I can't see it. You might have to I, look at this one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you guys can't see this, but it is actually one of my favorites to go into dips. Ooh, dips. Um, but I have a feeling I've never had it with like on its own. Mm -hmm. It is a artichoke heart. Check that out. See all the different little layers. Uh, so without further ado, here I go in my artichoke heart. Mm. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> so I like it in dips. It's kind of salty. I think I would rinse it off first before eating it. Oh, okay, you're. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, no. you pick one for me. Any of them, I'll do it. Uh, this one. It's this a one. little can. Okay, teeny tiny little can. Let's see what's in here. Okay, okay. It's kind of squeaky. I want to see if you can hear the squeak. Ready? <laughs> Ooh. It's still squeaking in my teeth. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is that? I have no idea. So little white something or others. Like, what oh. is that? I have no clue. Okay, look, do you see? Little white potatoes, maybe? Could be. Oh, water chestnuts, like you might find in, <laughs> oh, uh, like Thai cuisine. Yes, so crunchy, yes. delicious. Yum. Okay, what's up? What's next? You choose. Ooh, Which one are you gonna choose? This. Okay. Okay. Looks like red. I'm hoping that it's tomato soup because I want to have grilled cheese and tomato soup. Ah! Ooh. And it might, the texture is kind of tomato soupy. It might just be tomatoes. Let's see. Yep. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that's really sweet. Ooh. They're tomatoes, but they're super, super sweet. Uh, maybe Ooh. just canned tomato. Is that it? Canned tomatoes. Yes, I guessed it. Yum. Yay! Mm. Oh, <laughs> this is good. Good stuff. Okay, what's next? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna randomly pick. Okay. That one. Right. Ooh, okay, so I see brown. Ooh, beans! Yay! Oh, yay! Black beans. Oh, so good. We go through so many black beans in our house. 
Okay, I know which one I want next. Okay. I see this, there's a giant can right here. It's low. And my guess is, my family eats tuna fish all the time. My husband probably tricked me and was mm -hmm. like, you're not gonna get any meats. Oh yeah, because um, we got the, the other one in here. I'm guessing, oops, there's still a lid in there. Yikes. <gasps> it is, okay. Is it tuna fish? It is, it's tuna, I see it. Yum. I have never in my life eaten straight tuna from a can. We always <laughs> mix it with like, Greek yogurt or mayonnaise. We have all these different recipes for tuna fish. Um, but so, so here I go. Tuna straight out of a can, completely and totally cold. I can do it. Mmm, good. Oh my god, it's really delicious. Good, yay! <laughs> That's really good. Oh, I can't wait to eat that for lunch. Yeah. Okay, since I got a super low can, you get a low okay, can. I'll too. get a low can too. Ooh. Ooh, I think it's pineapple. Mmm. Ah! Crushed pineapple. Delicious. Yum. That's a fun. Okay, uh, I'm going to go for this one. It's orange. Okay. I have orange or black. Those are the two colors left. So okay. I chose orange. Here I go. My guess is it's kind of uh, gummy. Okay. So some sort of either soup or, oh, it's orange. Maybe a carrot. Maybe it's pumpkin puree. I'm gonna take ooh, a big like like we ooh my goodness that's a big bite. Okay, there I love go. pumpkin though. Ah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's my mouth. It's pumpkin puree. Good. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> so again, this is one of those foods that I always add stuff to, like pumpkin spices or a little cinnamon. Yeah. I'm all chip monkey. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but you've never had it on your own. Good. I've never had it on its own. Um, it's all right. I I hear this is really healthy for you. Yeah, we like to mix it in oatmeal. My daughters like it. Oh, what a smart idea. So good. Okay, yeah. next last one. one. Last one is for you. It Alrighty. is wacky brown. Did you get two beans oh, yeah. again? Ah, <laughs> uh, sneaky, sneaky. Okay. <gasps> Are mm. they flavored? These are ooh, these are really flavored. Like what? white bean soup, garlicky. Ooh, so maybe Cuban good. beans. I think so. Delicious. I love Cuban beans. Well, this is really awesome. I love knowing that we have all. Of so here is a picture of all of the cans that we have been able to gather. These are the ones that we're going to take to our local food pantry and distribute, and they'll distribute it to families in need in our community. So what do we want you to do exactly? Well, we want you to take the tin can challenge because it's really fun and you get to try try tins or food straight out of the tins, which is kind of interesting. And we also want you to donate some tins. And as you're donating your tins, make sure you take a picture of your haul, like the picture you just saw of our haul, and hashtag it so that we can find you, whether you're on Facebook or Instagram or um, Vine or YouTube, if you want to do a YouTube video about it, or even Twitter. Totally cool. Uh, just make sure we have a link, an, a student authorization, if you want the school to be able to use it. It's in, the, it's in the description box below, so click that link so we can have your student authorization complete. So what are we gonna do with all of this leftover food? That is the question. And no, no, no! I, I have a challenge. My husband and I were talking tell about me, this the other day. The dare is, let's try to use all of the these items in our cooking over the next week, and we're gonna put up recipes for all of these amazing foods. So we're gonna um, put them in our refrigerator and use all of this food. Some of them might disappear today, and so. Subscribe to the channel so you can click back and check in with our recipes. Because as I'm dying to know about your artichoke dip. It's and I'd delicious love to share my pumpkin oatmeal recipe. I want and the tuna fish that my family's been making for I would say generations um, is amazing. Yum! All right, so check back in soon, and we will look forward to seeing you participate in the K12 International Academy uh, Donates Tins Challenge. Thanks so much for joining us all. Take care. Bye.